Hey, shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Proverbs chapter 17, verse 6, and I'm going to be reading from the Tree of Life version, and it says, Grandchildren are the crown of the elderly, and the glory of children is their parents. Okay, so grandchildren are a crown of the elderly. You know, it, it just means that they've survived many generations and that they actually have grandchildren and they want to brag about their grandchildren. They get to spoil their grandchildren in such a way that they weren't able to spoil their own kids, right? You know, so grandchildren are the crown of the el elderly. It's like a major achievement uh, for the elderly in biblical times and even today to have grandchildren. But I want to focus on the last part of this verse. And the glory of children is their parents. I mean, that kind of seems weird and that kind of seems odd to us in this modern society because through television and social media and, you know, just going through the awkward teenage years, you get the impression that your children think that you're, you're so dumb, that you're so uncool, that you don't know what you're talking about. And it's like, you're just so stupid. And it's like, oh, whatever. And, you know, oh, I hate you guys. You, you're such a buzzkill and you never let me do what I want to do. And, 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 you know, the way they complain. And then when you're out in public, they don't want you showing uh, a public affection. They don't want you to hug them or to kiss them or to brag about them in public. They get embarrassed and they don't even want you around when their friends are around. So you get this impression that, that you know, kids hate you, right? Your kids hate you, but they don't. I mean, because the word of God is true. It says, and the glory of the children is their parents. You know, I mean, they may, they may uh, grumble to your face about the rules and the regulations that you laid down for them. But I'm telling you, in secret, in private, behind closed doors, to their friends and to other uh, meaningful adults in their lives, I guarantee you they'll say, you know what, you know, it kind of gets on my nerves sometimes that my parents are so strict, but, you know, I'm glad that they've given me boundaries because I know it shows that that they they love me and everything and, and that they want the best for me and they just want to do what's right. You know, it almost seems like it's a teenager's job just to give their parents a hard time, you know. But uh, behind closed doors and, and without in, in earshot of you, they are bragging about you, especially if you're doing your best to try to walk in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, by walking and following the Torah, especially if you see the faults in your life and you're doing your best to try to, uh, through through the scriptures and through prayer and through the Holy Spirit, to try to break free from all the, the vices and, and the issues and the hurts, habits, and hang-ups that you have, because you know that these hurts, habits, and hang-ups kind of spill over onto their children. And you know, I mean, uh, the shoemakers, the shoemaker clan, we are known for our temper, right? You know, and, and uh, I, I knew that when I was, when I had children, I had to get a grasp on this and I had to get a hold of this, you know, and so I just researched in the scripture about anger and I sought out ministries and, and, and books that uh, other believers wrote about anger and the spirit of anger. And through that, I was able to conquer uh, that, that, that spirit of anger. And whenever I did have an angry outburst and it was really unjustified, you know what the best thing was? For when I actually went to my daughter and says, hey, you know, look, I, I totally screwed up. I, I was totally wrong to blow up at you like that. I was just so angry and so frustrated, and there's really no excuse for it, and I'm sorry. Could you please forgive me? I really love you, and I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Humbling yourself before your children and actually apologizing when you mess up and when you're wrong and, and announcing your fault to your children and, and asking for forgiveness, oh my gosh, that goes a million miles with a kid. Your, your, your respect just boom, shoots up uh, in their book. Uh, so, you know, um, be the type of parent that your children will brag about, you know? And um, I've heard some of my daughter's friends come to me and just tell me, oh man, your daughter loves you so much. She, she thinks the world of you, you know? And, or they'll even come and say, you know what? You're, you're a really cool parent. I wish my parents were, were as cool as you guys. Um, we're not perfect. We mess up. But when we mess up, we acknowledge it. And we do our best to, to follow the word of God. And when we do that, we become the type of parents that our children can brag about. Hey, thanks for watching. And if the Daily Drosh has blessed you, don't forget to press the like button and share with a friend. Thanks for watching. Shalom, Shavuotov. Have a great day.